aspect of that, ano? but it doesn't address the empowerment process, political participation, uh, conflict, no? But 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 it's very strong on maternal mortality, you know, the health aspect of it, and education and livelihood, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's number one, poverty, no? Yeah. Um, and 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 these communities have been uh, have organized themselves and and mobilized themselves to claim in claim making the government, no? So they make mobilization, delegation, ask different government land agencies of what is due them. But at the same time, they also do things on their own. Uh, they also believe that uh, we cannot wait for government uh, to give us um, what we need, although that is the primary duty of government. But we should also try to help ourselves. So they, they do alternative ways, like they introduce organic farming, not from not from the prodding of government, but from their own from their own realization that's going to be good for their health, it's going to be environment friendly, you know. And in the end, if they can produce that, it's going to be themselves no longer buying up, up, um, agricultural produce from other communities, but they can produce this on themselves. So, ang pinatarget nila is backyard gardening and all this and that. Uh, women have been actively in, involved in all of this. Even in leadership training, women have been actively involved in this. In fact, in the leadership in the people's organization, also women are taking part. There's, there's one people's organization that we have that the Muslim woman theologian mm -hmm. are the ones actively involved. So they, they do the MC, they gather, they talk to people, they do the FGDs, they, they do that, no? So, so at, at the grassroots level, uh, we, were make, we were able to make them understand that unless they help themselves, and women should be part of that helping the community because women are fifty percent, if not more, of the community population. Mm -hmm. So, if you are, if you have a very depressed and poor community, and fifty percent of the population are not helping, mm -hmm. and their potentials are not being tapped, do you really believe that community will be there? Of course not, Liba, <laughs> because half of the population, if not more, more than half, are not half, are not being included in the development process. So they have to understand, and I think they, un they are understanding that. Now, itong Millennium Development Group, very, very interesting yung pag-introduce namin sa kanila, because these are, most of them are not literate, no? Overly. Uh, merong, 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 I mean, in a grassroots community, if you look at the population in the grassroots community, you have young boys and girls, then you have women of reproductive uh, age, and then you also have elderly. And all of them are participating. In fact, doon sa literacy namin, we had a 75-year-old grandmother na kahit na nagkakasakit siya, she, she didn't want to be absent in our, ano, because first time daw niya na isulat yung pangalan niya at the age of 75. So meron siyang, we gave them a school bag with their crayons and papers and all that. Kahit na nung dadalhin siya sa doctor, dalag-dalag niya yun. Talagang excited mo. So, so you can see the desire of these people. Kaya lang the access is the problem. They could, you know, they have difficulty accessing the the, the services, particularly education and health. So these are examples, no, of 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 how communities really are willing to help. They are not poor because they are tamad, no. They are poor because they just don't have simply have difficulty accessing. And so therefore, I think. If, if I get elected, these are the very important things that you have to know. When you want to empower communities, you really have to make them use their own potential. And not feed them like, you know, you like you um, dole out. Right. You go there and give them this, and then tomorrow you go there naman and give them this. Of course, you won't be able to feed everybody if that's the kind of attitude that you have. But then if you use the best practices that NGOs and development, because we have best practices naman, no? 
But then the problem is we cannot upscale it because we have limited resources. And we are not government in the first place. But if government will adopt the best practices that development organizations and like NGOs are doing, particularly to the poor communities, then I think we, have a, we can go a long way in terms of anti-poverty uh, and that's the measure. problem right now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's also a uh, you know, uh, lack of news in the So it's really good at that. someone like you would be able to that. <laughs> Hopefully, and, and this is really why I joined. You know, I think you've read the, the, you the article of Lina when yeah. I said, I'm, 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 uh, and even I told the, the team, you know, because I had the opportunity to meet with the Senatorial Board's late team, you know, of, of, my co colleagues in LP. And I told them, Sabi ko, and very candidly I said, I think amongst all of you, and all of us here, I'm the least prepared. I'm the least known. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who would ask them or not? Don't tell me you don't do Drinon. You don't, you know, this rap recto. You don't know. But, but, but you know, uh, uh, just knowing that you're running, it excites me. Uh, maybe the women will, <laughs> will uh, go with you also. Uh, that's why I wanted to know more about you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it does because uh, it's really something to not just happen to Filipina, but you know, the minority that we really are so far away from in the mm -hmm. it brings us in touch with mm -hmm. reality. And we're part of this country. I know. Divine. So, and then especially what happened in, you know, the recent election violence. It's just some, something we're not aware of the mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. we, we know that Christians and Muslims also get along. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, mm -hmm. that's why we also have been the no bloggers to say that uh, this is going to affect again our mm -hmm. status in the know that we are worthy to that. But mm -hmm. it's not. It's not, it's not for the whole country, uh, for the whole thing, you know. I think the reason, another reason also why I joined politics is precisely that what happened in, in, in Maguindanao and what has been happening in Mindanao for the past almost 40 years of Mindanao conflict. Oh, oh 19, ano na eh, nagstart siya ng Marcos time, di ba? 72, the Jabida massacre happened in 1969. Di ba? Ang tagal na! Di ba? Before that, Peaceful naman tayo. We're very, very, you know. And Marhal was very, uh, was a progressive place. Huh? And we've, we've had several visitors, even foreign visitors, coming in. We, have, we had Chinese, we had Americans, we had all sorts, no? And they and they come because it's a, it's a safe place. Tapos ngayon, everything here affected na. I will. Kahit man lang yung development assistance, no? You can always you read from newspapers that you know donors, multi-donor countries would suspend their operations because it's not safe and it's not only let's say 